Hey guys, welcome back to Bakes Foods. Today, we're gonna be trying something I've wanted to try for a while. We're gonna try a sous vide steak, but instead of actually buying a sous vide machine, we're gonna use crock pot. That's right, crock pot. <laughs> I've seen a couple things online and I'm excited to give it a try. We're just going to heat up our water in our crock pot here and then we're going to put it on warm and let it get up to about 135. Um, we're gonna use a probe to kind of see. So I've got two different cuts of chuck eye, just kind of a, a cheaper cut. Um, and I wanna compare sous vide versus just a regular uh, pan seared steak. And if it's good, I might actually buy a sous vide machine. So I'm just gonna use a freezer bag here. I'm gonna seal it up as well as I can, get all the air, of, air out of it with some water, dipping it in the water and then closing it. And then we'll put it in our crock pot once we reach temperature and give it a try. So we've got our steak seasoned up and now I'm going to put one of them in our bag here. That nice flat on the bottom. And I'm not gonna seal it quite yet. How's that look? And then what we'll do is we'll use the crock pot water to seal the bag and get all the air out of that. And I'll show you how to do that now. Our water is up to 135. And now, like I said, we haven't sealed this bag yet. What we're gonna do is with the top open, we're gonna slowly dip it in here. And if you can see the water, I'll we'll actually push that all out. Just kind of push this down, push this down, pushing all the air up out of the bag. And get this down as far as we can. And then seal it. Seal it nice and tight. And you can see it's pulled it tight like that. So now we're gonna dip it into our water. Make sure it's on warm. And it looks like we're gonna to want to keep that suspended. So I'm just gonna put this knife on there. And what that'll do is hold it down and it's still kind of floating underneath so the water can go all the way around it. And that's gonna be perfect. And I'll just leave the bag on the outside like that. Now we'll keep it on warm and we'll let it sous vide for two and a half to three hours. All right, it's been three hours now and I think it's done. I don't know. I have no way to tell. Mm -hmm. There's our raw one. Now, we have our pan preheated here, medium high heat. We're just gonna put a little bit of avocado oil in there and we'll cook up this one first. We'll get one side done and then right when we flip it, Turn the heat up a little bit and put this one on just to sear so they're both done at the same time. We'll finish with a little butter. It's gotta be good. <laughs> so here's our control group. Standard season chuck eye brought to room temperature. Sizzle, sizzle. We're gonna sear that for about three minutes. Okay, now we can go ahead and flip this one, it's been about three and a half minutes. Uh, and you can see, look at that beautiful crust. Now at this point, that one's halfway done. So I'm gonna put this one in here. Temperature's nice and hot. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter to finish. Add that to the top of that. Go ahead and flip this. Got a nice sear on there. Now that it's seared, I can go ahead and add butter. Oh yes. Get that nice 
mixed around on there. Oh, it's looking so good. All right, we've got our sear on there. It's looking beautiful. And that is our control, regular one. I can definitely tell already that this one is not near as tender. Okay, so this is our sous vide. Very tender, I can tell. You can just see that. This is our regular. Now let's cut into them. It's actually looking really good. Here is our sous vide. Ooh. It is falling apart. <laughs> well, I can definitely feel the difference in tenderness between the two, but is it gonna taste any different? First, we're gonna try we're gonna try the regular one. So go ahead, Pat, grab a piece. That's pretty good. Steak makes me happy. And sous vide. Definitely seems like it broke down a little bit more. Um, and maybe the crock pot isn't the best way to do it, but it's not, it's not like way better than the other one. I don't think so either. So uh, all in all, I think it's, it's, it's definitely not a bad method. I would do it again. Um, I'm actually, I think I wanna try taking um, maybe a less tender cut, like a chuck roast or a chuck steak, not a chuck eye, or even a sirloin or something, and do a, a crock pot sous vide for eight to 10 hours maybe, and then give it that sear and see how tender that is, so. Anyways, we're gonna eat this. So if you guys liked it, give us a like, thumbs up. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And until the next one, bake out. Bendy spoon, you know. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs>